Hey everybody, Blackberry Brad here with the Blackberry Priv. Uh, just launched today, just did an unboxing video earlier. Uh, I figured I'd go through the device setup guide with you guys. Since we're coming from Blackberry 10, a lot of people might not know how to set up an Android device. and never used Android devices from, you know, from phase one. So, uh, on most Android, uh, this is running Android 5.1.1 as of today. Uh, so, pretty much this is how all Android device uh, welcome screens look. Uh, has a, you know, choose your language. I'm going to choose English. Choose your Wi-Fi network. I'll set that stuff up later so I can kind of don't have to show you guys my uh, Wi-Fi passcodes. But uh, you can skip that if you'd like. It's probably going to warn me. You know, more data charges are going to occur if you do this. Uh, so we're going to skip anyways. We're okay with that. Checking connection. It's going to check for software updates. Tap to go, tap and go. I can pretty much, if I had another Android device with me right now, I could actually tap and uh, uh, that device and information would move over from one to the other. Don't have another device with me right now. Checking info. Now, with every Android device, it requires some kind of Google ID, uh, Google email address. Uh, if you have Gmail, you're good to go. Uh, if you have uh, Google Drive, you're good to go. If you have Google Calendar, anything Google related will work with this. So I'm going to throw in my email account real quick. And you guys probably already know my email account if you've ever visited the website. Now, once you get your Google account lo loaded up on there, you're going to get an agreement. Go through that. It's going to check the information, make sure everything's all right. Be a little patient with it. Take some time to set up. Takes about 10 minutes, give or take. Uh, if you have to create a new Google account, if you don't already have one. Um, it also depends on your, your connection to the network, if you have a good connection in the house or outside, whatnot. So, uh, get my data. I don't want to restore from anything. I'm going to start as a brand new device. So, see how it gives me little options. I can restore from my old Android devices if I have them, or it can also, you know, also include apps if I want to. Uh, but I'm going to start as a brand new device. I'm not going to need anything for my old phones. Screen lock, I will set that up later. Google services, going to agree to all this stuff. You know, it's always good to back up your phone apps and data. Use Google location services, it help improve location services, help improve your Android experience. Agreement to BlackBerry uh, Solutions license agreement, we're going to agree. You can read through it if you like. I don't. So I could be sending BlackBerry $5,000 today if I want to. BlackBerry Insider, sign up with Google uh, account. Uh, looks like feedback surveys, receive emails on updates and all that stuff. Sure, what, why not? Oh. Sign up with Google account. Diagnostics, yes. I would like to send BlackBerry information when something goes wrong so they know about it. Content transfer, we're going to skip that for now. I'll try then through that later. Learn as you go. We can watch from tips in the BlackBerry Help Center. Finish. And there it is. Oh, here it comes. The BlackBerry homepage. So for your BlackBerry dice. Uh, one other thing you will want to have to set up is uh, DTEC, which is pretty much the s uh, security app for your phone. Uh, it's going to ask you to set up different pin numbers and whatnot, so let's go through that right now. Welcome to DTEC for BlackBerry. Monitor, poor. This will type in apps being poor, fair, good. Control. Uh, you can protect your device a lot better. Easily change your security settings to improve your security ratings for your device and specific security features. So you can choose how secure you want your device to be and how unsecure you want your device to be. Track, you can track everything for event logs and whatnot. Notify, you can be notified if, if apps are doing weird things that it shouldn't be doing, like taking your contact information and putting it elsewhere. So is DTEC for BlackBerry. I'm going settings. 
and it's going to ask you if you want you to do your screen lock. So again, screen lock uh, for, for DTEC will allow you to secure your BlackBerry. That's a little how-to of how to get through the, the setup guide with the BlackBerry Prive. Um, make sure you stay tuned to BerryPro.com for more tips and tricks. BlackBerry Brad, out.